It's no secret that studio headphones are not designed to make everything sound pleasing. They are designed to provide honest, unfiltered sound and reveal flaws in a recording to help engineers and producers make informed production decisions. But how do you know which pair of studio headphones is right for your ears and your budget? Hi, I'm Dale Asben. I am a music producer and creator and I finally found studio headphones that actually blew my mind without breaking my bank. The paradox of choice is real. There are many ads and opinions about studio headphones, and not everybody has the luxury or time to try everything that's out there. I've done audio and video production for a long time now, and I still haven't tried even half of the studio headphones, but I've worked on industry standard pairs from Sennheiser, Bay Dynamic, Neumann, and Focal. I also tried III and Allo Audio. Sennheiser, Bayer Dynamic, and Neumann did an excellent job, and I spoke about my Bayer Dynamic DT1990 Pro in detail in this video. But I still felt like I was missing something until I found what it was. Austrian Audio Hi-X 65 open back studio headphones for mixing and mastering that cost $429 but sound and look like 1000. And here's why I love them. From packaging to presentation to build quality, X65s are gorgeous. The box is sleek and held together by a red Velcro strap that you can actually use to organize your cables. I'm not into red color in general, but the combination of black, gray, and red in these headphones and packaging is quite tasteful. The headphones are made primarily of metal and partially of high-quality plastic with everything in matte finish. I love the attention to detail, which you can notice in a coiled cable with red accents versus a regular straight cable that awkwardly sticks out in other headphones. I guess my only wish was that one of the two included cables was coiled as well, but I can definitely live without it. Overall, the headphones look refined yet industrial at the same time, the combination I love the most in design and music. The replaceable leatherette headband and ear pads are slow retention memory foam and make wearing the headphones for extended periods a breeze. The ear pads provide a great seal, they don't get hot and are really soft. The headphones are extremely comfortable because they're light. Compared to DT1990 Pro that I used before, these are only two ounces lighter, but they feel substantially lighter when I wear them. When these headphones first arrived, the first thing I noticed, aside from the build quality and sound quality, were the actual shape of the ear cups. They're shaped not oval or round like most headphones, but they're shaped like a capsule or a square oval. Squareville? And the footprint of the ear cups is actually quite small. And aside from that, they are not bulky on the head because of the low profile of the headphones. And since we're on the topic of footprint, I love that X65s can actually fold and take less space when I need to pack them. Before, none of my headphones that I used could do that, and they were permanently stationed in my studio because I just couldn't take them anywhere because they couldn't fold. That created a lot of limitations when I had to produce on the go, and I had to resort to Apple's AirPods Pro. But when I used them to lay down initial ideas and then I opened them up in the studio, they just sounded bad. Had I been able to have my studio headphones with me, that wouldn't be a problem, but then I would run into an issue of driving them. With DT1990 Pro, I would have to bring an audio interface because with 250 ohms of impedance, it's pretty difficult to drive them out of a computer jack. X65s, 25 ohms, and they work just as well even with an iPhone. It blows my mind, but it blows my mind even more that some of the reviews that I saw online didn't think much of their sound. The problem I find with headphone reviews in general is that most of them, if not all, are done without calibration. For somebody like me, these reviews are generally not useful because I never use any headphones right out of the box without Sonarworks. Sonarworks calibrates for headphones and speakers if you're in the studio to make sure that they sound flat in any setting. Without Sonarworks, these headphones and many others, they would probably sound way too bright and lack bass. In other words, they add color to the sound just like hi-fi and consumer headphones. 
slightly differently though. Bottom line, getting truly flat and balanced sound in any headphones right out of the box is virtually impossible. But if I had to choose the flattest sounding pair of headphones for mixing and mastering or production, that would be Neumann NTH30, but that deserves a separate video. X65s are the most revealing, textured, and strikingly precise headphones. They provide the best instrument separation and detail in a studio headphones under $1,000 that I've ever heard, but they cost not even half of that. I've never heard sub, kick, and bass with such clarity and separation. The mids are very upfront, and the highs are superbly crisp, but never sibilant or unpleasant. They have stellar imaging and great sound stage, which is not too wide because you don't want it super wide in any headphones anyway. There is no distortion at higher volume and they have a low 0.1% total harmonic distortion. I literally hear every little detail that other headphones couldn't give me before and I get much better localization. From now on, I permanently switched from DT1990 Pro to X65s, which are now my main studio headphones for mixing, mastering, and production. They are insanely good for the price, and I couldn't be happier with their performance, looks, cost, and build quality. I wish Austrian Audio made speakers, so maybe if they're watching, they would consider it. Speaking of speakers, I made a video about what I use in my studio, and you can watch it right here. And as always, if you like music in my videos, this is my original music that I release on Spotify. I would love to see you there if you like it. And if you like videos on music, design, tech, and lifestyle, subscribe for more. And if you want to know more about my gear and lifestyle accessories that I use, check out my Kid Dad Co page down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.